The Dallas Cowboys find themselves back at square one after a crushing 42-10 defeat, but they have the opportunity to address some of their offensive issues through a potential trade. Carolina Panthers tight end, Hayden Hurst, is a talented player stuck on a non-competitive team, and the tight end position is possibly the top priority on Dallas offensive needs list. The resounding loss to the San Francisco 49ers has clearly alerted the Cowboys to the need for improvements. However, this offense is supposed to be built around its offensive line, theoretically one of the strongest in the NFL, and features talents like running back Tony Pard and wide receiver CeeDee Lamb. The weak link in the offense is at the tight end position, where Jake Ferguson has had a decent performance with 175 receiving yards and one touchdown in five games. The main problem is that he's had three drops in five games, and the second-round pick, Luke Shoemaker, has had no impact, as has PTO and Hendershot. Hurst is a 30-year-old veteran tight end with a proven track record in blocking, high-pressure pass catching, and scoring. He is currently in the early stages of a three-year contract with the Panthers, but Carolina holds a 0-5 to record and seems to be hitting for one of the worst records in the NFL. Hurst was selected 25th overall by the Baltimore Ravens in the 2018 NFL Draft. Throughout his career, he has played for various NFL teams. He spent only two years in Baltimore before being traded to the Atlanta Falcons in 2020, where he had the best season of his NFL career. According to Pro Football Reference, in 2020, Hurst accumulated 56 receptions for 571 yards and 6 touchdowns. He connected well with former Falcons quarterback Matt Ryan. However, he had a setback in his second season due to injuries that limited his performance to 221 receiving yards and 3 touchdowns. After his rookie contract expired, Atlanta chose not to re-sign Hurst and instead selected Kyle Pitts in the 2022 NFL Draft. The Cincinnati Bengals then acquired Hurst in a trade, bringing him to the AFC North. Hurst played a prominent role, catching 52 passes for 414 yards and two touchdowns while competing for targets with Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. He was ready to sign his first major contract, which he eventually got with Carolina, where he was paid $21.5 million for three years, according to SP Track. The possibility of the Cowboys trading for Hurst presents an intriguing situation, considering he recently signed his new contract. However, it's clear that the Panthers are far from being a competitive team and will need many draft picks to build around their quarterback, Bryce Young. If they consider freeing up salary cap space and acquiring draft picks as a more favorable option, the Cowboys should seize the opportunity. His contract is structured in such a way that the Panthers probably wouldn't get high-value picks in return, meaning a selection in the second half of the draft might be sufficient to meet Dallas' needs, which is focused on winning in the present. Having someone like Hurst at the tight end position could make a significant difference. Dallas could still employ Jake Ferguson and have depth at the position with Shoemaker and Hendershot, but Hurst could bring more reliability as a receiver and experience in an offensive zone that is mostly young.